All right, I'm back in business, and I'm here to showcase my Apocalyptic Shadow Clear with Blade. So there's a lot of debate going on around whether Ron May or Robin is a better support at the moment. And for Blade, honestly, why not just run both of them? So that's what I'm doing here. I'm running Blade with the three best supports for him, Branya, Ron May, and Robin all together. Now, it's a really expensive team because they're all five-star supports. But I feel like these are safe characters to pull, and even if you don't want to run Blade in the future, Robin and Ron May fit into pretty much any other team. So the way I structured this team, I have Branya, Hyperspeed Branya, so she's at 162 speed, whereas Blade is at a base 97 speed. So how it works is I'll mostly be using Branya to bring up Blade. There's the odd situation where you might see me auto attack with Branya, and I only do that when it kind of benefits me. So like one of those situations would be if it would put her right after Blade. Um, so that you could go Blade, Branya, Blade. And the reason is I would do that if the auto attack could destroy one of Adventurian's balls, or if it could help me bring back a skill point. Usually, I would just use Branya's skill to bring up Blade. And then the overall game plan of the team in action is Branya brings up Blade whenever possible. And you want to use Robin's ultimate when you think you can finish off his toughness meter. That way you can trigger everyone's action advance one more time. So what, what happens is Robin will bring up your entire party. Your party def depletes the remaining toughness meter on adventuring and then that triggers everyone to then go one more time to nuke him down as for the other two characters i have ron may on a standard slow ron may build uh, the reason i run her on slow ron may is because there is this mechanic i think in phase two where after you beat his high score you regenerate all your energy so it, it doesn't really matter if ron may takes forever to to get her ultimate back up the regenerate energy thing will make it so that you always have ron may's ultimate for the final burst and what i mean by final burst is usually aventurine is super resistant to damage until you can break him right and Usually by the time you beat the high score, you're very close to breaking him. And then when you do break him, all your characters get to go again. And so having a slow Ron May just makes it so her buffs are even stronger. And you get her guaranteed ultimate during the final burst window anyways. As for Robin, because I'm running Robin with Blade, I actually don't care too much about what Robin's attack is. To be honest, I could have changed her light cone out for something else, like something that gives more energy or something that might benefit. I don't know. But the point is, Robin doesn't need too much attack. Obviously, having more attack also makes her own damage stronger. But because we're running no sustain, I value her tankiness more. So I tried a few runs with Robin on my normal build with 4k attack, but she kept dying on the second phase of the boss and so i decided to swap out some attack pieces for more defensive ones okay so here is an example of when i use robin's ultimate because i know i can nuke him down in this uh like in these actions blade will eliminate the remaining toughness meter and then that will then let everyone go one more time and then because when Aventurine is broken, he's so much more vulnerable and you deal a lot more damage to him. Blade auto attack, set myself to four stacks and then Branya can bring him up or he does, doesn't even have to be brought up. He, he's still at zero action, but Branya can just buff him so that he can do extra damage. Yeah. So here I'll slow it down so that you can uh, admire the finishing blow in slow motion. Very satisfying. So that was a 
3700 plus clear which is the best that i've done you could probably get higher i'm not sure i feel like this is already relatively optimized at least with my current character builds but talking about character builds my Branya is 162 speed she doesn't have too much crit damage, but that's just because I value her speed more. And yeah, her relics are, are kind of they're kind of rainbow. She's E1. Um I feel like anyone who's reached the 300 wish on the standard banner probably has E1. Robin. Um you can also see she's on two-piece Longevous. I swapped out Musketeer for Longevous because she was dying too too quickly. Okay, for Eidolon, my Robin is E0, although I do have her E1 available, but I haven't activated it yet, so she's still at E0. Ranmei, she's slow Ranmei with 255 break effect. She has her signature. She also has E1. I did activate that a long time ago, so sadly I can't deactivate it. I don't think it would have mattered, though. But yeah, just to show you guys, my Robin is still E0. She, I, I didn't activate it. And then for like the relics, like I didn't really care about attack, so I, I just found pieces that that made her tankier. This is definitely not your standard Robin build. Don't run this Robin for like Facial. This is only a blade, a blade Robin build.